Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome back to Foolcraft. Now between episodes I did some things I did end up dying unfortunately. I don't know if I comment if I did this in the last episode or not, but I did light up this area around here. So it is all nice to end up and mobs don't spawn, but a wisp spawned and a wisp killed me unfortunately. Uh, which means I did die, uh, unfortunately. But between episodes I did a bunch of mining, I got myself some goodies. Uh, the vast majority of these are now being processed into ingots. And uh, I think we have enough ingots, enough iron ingots, anyway, to go ahead and make ourselves some proper armor. And what I want to do in this episode is I want to try and get myself some inventory pets, okay? I've never actually played around with this mod before, and uh, I would really like to give it a go. Uh, you know what, we might as well just make ourselves some iron tools. So if we go pick, axe, shovel, and sword... Oops, I inadvertently grabbed enough stuff there, which was good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so at least we've got something to be going adventuring with. Now, I think I'm going to take my... We'll put this back. Uh, I took the uh, trivection chamber augment out. Because obviously you can't smell ores with that in. And obviously I wanted to smell ores. Also, I got this wooden loyalty medal. Uh... Which you can change into a medal. Oh, no you can't. You can just equip it. Ah, right. Fair enough then. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. But there we go. So we got that. But we don't really need it. So yeah, I want to go and find these inventory pets. And from what I've gathered, uh, I actually want to take my bed with me. From what I've gathered, you can actually get these from just adventuring out and about chests will be randomly strewn across the place but i do want to i don't want to create something it's got a golden bag of holding okay uh or is it called just a bag of holding now bag of yes here we are Ooh, that requires some magical wood uh which requires some stuff okay so maybe that's not a such a there's no backpacks okay what about rucksacks? Nope. Satchel? Aha! The satchel's in the pack. Okay, this requires wool, some tin, and some leather. Do I have any of that stuff? Um, I know that the... Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four wool. And that was it. was one wool, wasn't it? Yes. And three of that, and then we want some tin. Which my tin is over here. There we go. Okay. So let's craft ourselves the satchel. How much? Not a lot. Okay. So I'm guessing this one is upgraded. This requires invar and tin. Do I actually have any invar? I mean, if I remember rightly, isn't invar just nickel and iron? Oh, what was the um, ratio on that? Ah, there we go. There we go. And it was tin ingots, wasn't it? I mean, what's this? This is Electrum with Invar Nuggets. Okay. So that's just gold and silver. Which, uh... I don't have any gold or silver over here. Let's grab some... I should have some silver somewhere. Yeah, cool. Okay. Take that out. Pop that in. And... Whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. Okay, so how much... This requires just two Invar, which is good, because we've got that. Okay. So, make that into that. We've got our satchel now, which is hardened. This has a little bit more space. Okay. And we need the Electrum. And I do have one ingot here. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. Ah! All done and dusted. And I think the next one is Signalum, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And how do I get Signalum? Um, alloy smelter with copper, silver, and redstone. Do you know what? That's probably doable. So let's just do 10. And it was, uh, what was it? It was, uh, alloy smelter. Ooh. Oh, no, it does require, you can do it with that one. It was three copper, one silver. Okay, so one silver, three copper. Give me that. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, boom, boom, and silver. That's probably going to take quite a while. So, um, yeah, let's let's sleep the night away. What comes after that? I think it's Endarium, isn't it? And I don't think Endarium is going to be all that good for us. If we have a little look. Uh, how do I make Endarium? Which is some sand and some Endarium base, which requires Ender Pearls Platinum. And I don't have any of that stuff. And I keep hearing a cat. Yeah, there you go, look. Nope, no cat out here. There's definitely a cat somewhere. But I ain't gonna worry too much about it. Okay, how far is this signal I'm done? If it's not done that far, I'm just gonna... We're about 17%, so I think I'm gonna let that do. And, uh... How many signal does that give me? Gives me four. Okay. Uh, would it have been better to do... Probably would have been better to do that. But then again, that requires a destabilized redstone, and getting access to that just isn't isn't something that I have at the minute. Okay, so this is a satchel void, which might be worth it just to get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. But I don't think I want it. So yeah, I think I'm going to wait for this to do what we at. 27%, so that's not too much. So yeah, I'm going to wait for that to do, and then I'll be back with you when I'm ready to go explore. Welcome back, the signalum is done, and we are finally upgrading this satchel now. To exactly where we want it. I did a little bit of mining and all between clips. I went down to my mine. Got a bunch more goodies. Got some gold actually, which was something we didn't have a lot of before. So, uh, yeah. Let's take this out. And we pop these all over here into this chest where they belong. Okay, so I've got some stuff with me that I think I'll need. I got some wood, some torches. I don't really think we'll need the torches, but I'd rather have them than not have them. We got a bed so we can sleep. Um, now what we need to do is we need to choose a cardinal direction. So I'm just going to close my eyes. I'm going to spin around. I'm going to stop whichever direction we are facing. We are going to go. We are going to go south. That's a good way to figure out where you should go. Now I don't know where these um, inventory pets spawn exactly. I do know that some can spawn upon clouds, especially the cloud pet. But I'm hoping that we may stumble across just something of interest. Just something worth seeing out here. Maybe there'll be some... Random chests floating, maybe there won't be, maybe we'll find a village, that would be really cool. Although I think we need Silk Touch to harvest quite a lot of things from uh, some of the villages anyway. So, let's have a little look. It is getting night time, so we'll go ahead and we'll just have a have a brief nap. I'm finally over my cold, mostly, just a little bit of snuffle left, but nothing too major. That's rattling outside my door. Okay, mystical white flower. Now we don't need that. But it's good to know that Patania is in this pack. Because that will certainly come in handy. You know, I have been getting into Patania quite a lot lately. In a lot of the packs that I play, both on and off camera. So, I'm thinking that I am indeed... I think we are definitely going to get into it. Probably get ourselves one of those nice little terrestrial axes that does 11 by 11. What's this? What is this? It's just sand. Okay. Strange. Not really quite sure what that means. And I'm hoping to probably find like a village out here or something. Um, that would be nice. I'm not sure exactly where we find inventory pets. 100%. But um, I still do want like adventure. I do want to see what, like, what the land is like around us. Because this is where we could probably get some blizzards from. A little bit later down the line if we need them. Okay, so I'm just so scanning the area to see if I can see anything to trees, which I don't see anything. But I do like to see sort of like something. I mean, let's just go to options, video settings, clouds, off. Okay, so there's definitely no cloud up there. So the thing on the map must be that. Must be, and I don't really see anything up there. But I would really love to find like some sort of like rogue dungeon or you know something worth of interest. Now, I'm probably not going to adventure too deep into the rogue dungeon if we do find one today. But it would certainly be worth finding, you know. 
maybe find a couple of things in them. They're all like loot boxes and loot loot things in the pack, so I'm more than more than up for seeing if I can find myself some of those. Some iron right here on the surface. Don't mind if I do. We're not gonna go caving too long. Uh, nope, I wasn't holding down the vein mine key. Works a lot better when you hold down the vein mine key. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not. I've got enough copper and then iron to last me. So, do you know? I in my single player world, my single player vanilla world, building with Casey. I'm currently trying my best to get enough um, resources together for a beacon. It's driving me crazy. I'm spending a lot more time than I wanted to. I generated the world in one thirteen snapshots, and uh, there was a little bit of a bug in one of those snapshots where it just doesn't generate. Ores properly. Ores generated at a considerably reduced rate. Uh, so all the all the caves in their spawn are a little bit a little bit drier than I would prefer them to be with their um, loot and stuff. So unfortunately for me, I've had to travel quite a distance out just to try and find some to ungenerate the chunks. Uh, fortunately though, I'm only like about 25 episodes into that series, so there isn't too many too many chunks generated. There's a lot of wolves out here. An awful lot of wolves, actually. But I'm not finding much in, in the way of, um, like, structures or anything. I, I thought we'd have at least found something by now. Let's just get up on top of these trees. Okay, so we've got some spruce wood over there. Might be worth going to chop some of those trees down. I do like myself some spruce woodage. It's one of the nicer woods. Especially because it goes with so many different things. It's so nice. But I think the spruce wood is, is, is now falling victim to what oak wood fell victim to, first of all. You know, a lot of people used to use oak wood in the beginning of Minecraft because it was just available. And it's always, it goes in pretty much every biome. You know, ooh, that's a bit of a deep ravine. Some exposed iron, but I'm not going to go too much for that. Should have bought a flower pouch for me. But now I think everybody's sort of, um, they've moved on from using oak wood, and oak wood is used very sparingly now. A lot of people now move on to using spruce wood, so I think that, that it's suffering from exactly what exactly what oak wood originally started suffering from. So let's grab ourselves some of this. Uh, this is great wood. Okay, we got three spruce logs there. Three saplings, I have four. That's enough for a double tree. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to go ahead and adventure a little bit more, see if I can come up with something. And when I find something that I want to show you guys, I'll bring you back. So I found something of interest. I found what's called a chance cube. Don't know, this this pack always lags whenever I um, evade mine. But basically, these... You can uh, you break them and you get stuff, okay? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I've actually done a couple episodes just opening these in the past. Okay. Seems you have purchased the saplings DLC. Hey, that's big. We got we got all the saplings. That's good. Uh, that'll come in handy. That means we got a... Actually, did we get all of them? Yes, we did. We got all six vanilla saplings. And then we've got this little structure over here, uh, which is from a mod called Astral Sorcery, which I have never gotten into. Never even really touched, but I do know a little bit about it, and I do know enough to know that there's usually a chest hidden below one of these pillars. Um, usually. Yeah, there it is. Look. Is there one below this chest? No. We'll grab this, though. And this usually contains stuff from the mod. Like so. Okay. Well, that's simple. Okay. So now, I think... I think I'm going to continue on and see if we can uh, locate any more goodies, uh, unfortunately. It does look like I'm coming to a little bit of an end here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's much out. This way we get another one of those fluid cows, which they don't seem to grow up. Uh, maybe they just take a little while. Or maybe they're supposed to be that small. But I have seen a couple of videos of people killing them and getting nothing from them, so... I don't want to make that mistake. Uh, I do actually want some sugar cane because I do want to get into enchanting. Uh... Did we lose a piece of that sugar cane? There it is. I would say we should have got three from that. And maybe a sugar cane's farm is something that we want to do later on. Because obviously, I'd really like to be able to get into enchanting stuff. I really would like to find the enchanting pack. 
Uh, but that eats books, and eats books every time you open it, so. What the hell is that? Is that just a tree over there? Oh, we got some cows. I actually want to kill some cows because I do want some leather. Uh, this cow's got a hat. So, let's do that. Yes. Now, we could probably get leather some other ways. I'm not going to worry about making a cow farm just yet. We'll worry about that a little later on in the pack. Right now, I just want the leather from, the, from these guys. So there's more over here. So, let's go over here and let's get some... Let's get our killage on. Kill some of the cows. Like so. And you. Yep. Can you one-shot these with an eye sword? I don't think you can. Nope. Not even with a critical. Maybe if we had sharpness on our blade, but we don't, unfortunately. Uh, there's some funny-looking cows over here. Some blue cows all the way over there. Uh, so, you're playing virtual reality. Uh, come here. Okay. Your friend doesn't want to die. But I do want that. Wow, you took a few hits. A few hits too many. Okay, there's some more cows over here. The cowage is real. Okay. And we've got you. Yep. And we got you. Ah! Get back here. Okay, that's the cowage dead. Actually, there is one more cow that is still alive. Should we go and hunt it down? Yeah, let's hunt it down. So close, my friend. So close to living. We got 12 leather from that. So not quite as much as I would like for a full enchanting setup. But, hey, if we get the enchanting pet, won't need them. Won't need them. But I do want to see what these, like, blue cows are. And did they move? I think they moved. I think they're going to be those, like, the mini moos. Yes. What's a mini moo? Okay. Okay. We're not going to worry too much about them. So, yeah. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do some more adventuring. If I find anything else, or something else. Okay. We got SpongeBob SquarePants. We get ourselves another chance cube. Come sail away. Okay. Okay. These chance cubes are a little bit ridiculous. But I'll tell you what we do have over here. We have a meteor over here. Which is good. I don't know if I could break into it with this iron pick though. But these are used in applied logistics. You find some stuff that you can use to make an AE system in here. Uh, and it turns out that no, we can't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go here. We're going to go waypoint. Uh, and we can remove these death ones. If we click new, we can put AE Meteor. And then we'll know where one is, should we need to find one. So yeah, I'm now looping. I've, I've gone out and paid quite a considerable distance if we look. I went all the way down here, look. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and, like, loop around this area. I'm going to try and go, like, out and about this way, come to about here, uh, and then head back home and see what I can find. So, yeah, back with you. And welcome back, and I have found a village, which is good. That's good news. Because I think we might be able to find something here. There's usually a few chests or goodies in modern villages, so I'm kind of excited to see what we find. Maybe we'll find some bookcases. Also, I have a crap ton of leather. So, oh, I forgot about my boat. That's going to make sailing back home quite easy. And maybe it's possible this village will have a waystone. Which, if it does, that would be really good. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. What about it here? Um, okay. I want this. I, I want this TV. Sorry, sir, I just... I know, I just saw your home. There's another TP. I'll take these. Okay. There's this rather cool-looking build here. Uh, which I have no idea what this is. Um, 
compost. Fermenting barrel. Now I do know uh, for playing FTB Revelations, you break a lot of this stuff, you end up canola making canola oil. You end up not getting the stuff that's there. So um, we're only gonna. Can I break these barrels or do these break? No, I can actually take the barrels. Okay. Um, no, that's just wood casing. Okay. So it's oh block of coal. A lot of coming, Andy. It's worth noting that this is here. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else in here that I really want. Um, here's the waste oat. So let's activate that. And uh, what we got over here? This just empty house, isn't it? Yes. Okay. We just went in this one, didn't we? Yes. Okay. So we got this place here. Um. Is this the jam guy? This is the jam guy, isn't it? Yep, okay. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, sir, I just stole all your jam. Yeah, you haven't got any left now. People aren't going to be happy. Okay, so we got some beet roots. And, uh... We can get wheat seeds though, easy enough. Looks like we got ourselves some books in here. But I'm not going to worry too much about the crafting table. I'd really like to find myself another patch of farmland, see if we can get potatoes and carrots. Okay. We got coffee seeds, but no potatoes or carrots. You live in a really dangerous spot, my friend. A really dangerous spot. Okay. There's some potatoes. Uh... And, uh, some carrots. Okay. We'll just take one row. We'll just take one row. You know, that should be plenty. So you're just a generic house? Yes. Oh, we have another one of these here. We'll take these. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna happily help myself. That's the church. So I think that's the entire village explored. There wasn't really much... There, we got a couple of interesting things, but not too much. So yeah, I'm going to continue my track back home. Having just said that, I stumbled across a randomly floating chance cube. So, let's break into it. I got a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> yeah, real bad feeling. Let's just, let's get out of there. Let's <laughs> get out of Quidditch, anyone? No, thank you. Uh, you guys can just stay there. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't tangling with witches. Witches can, they can, they can go screw themselves. Yes. Flying around on the bats. What do they think they are? Huh. Man. I tell you. I'm tempted to just say I'll catch you back in a minute, but every time I've said that, I've come across the chance cube. So, let's just, let's roll with it just for a few more seconds. See if we can see anything out here in the wild. A bunch of cows. I'm not going to kill any more cows. Kill more than enough. Although I will kill these pumpkins. Thank you. And thank you. No. Don't mind if I do. I really genuinely don't mind. Okay, guys. Catch you back in a minute. What did I say? It's literally five seconds after that last clip. Okay. Um. What are you? I mean, is there anything up there? Um, I don't really have... Oh, well, we can use the spruce wood. I hear what casing's from. Hmm. Yeah, that's just... I gotta see if there's anything on top of this thing. Okay. Oh! There's that over there, look. Okay, so we got some coal blocks there. Okay. Nothing here. There's some repeaters inside and a redstone block. No idea. No idea, but drandily dandily dand anymore. Okay, so. I'm going to mark this on the map, This because uh, we've just seen a watchtower right, like, right there. 
So waypoint, new watchtower. Because if I remember rightly, and I'm like 90% sure, that if we come here and we just look, where is it? It's over, over in this direction. There is in fact, just up there, look, you can just see it just peeking out there. I'm sure that's a roguelike dungeon. And we are towards the end of this episode, so I have a good time to explore this episode. But it does give me an idea for the next episode. Okay. You probably get a better look at it there, look. So we could probably go and explore the... I don't want to say the whole thing, because the whole thing is going to be a little bit too much. Where's my map? Where are we? We are here, and home is... Home is just over around here. Okay. That's fine. But... We did get ourselves a couple of little goodies. And can I make those teepees? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just wool and sticks. Okay, they're quite cheap. But we've got a couple of them, and I think we're going to put them down on our little island. Make our island look a little bit nicer than it already does. Because I do want it to look rather, rather nice. There we are. It, I'm envisioning this tower going up a little bit more with maybe a windmill from immersive engineering on it. But I don't know yet. I'm still undecided on if that's what I want to do. Okay. Let's put these uh, TPs down. Let's say... Should we put them... Yeah, let's put them over here in this corner. That. Okay. Okay, so they, they actually require a bit of a space. Okay. And we can go ahead and we can take these torches and put them like that. Okay, does that light up this area significantly? What about if I take you out? No. But you know what we could do? We could just do that. There we go. Now we get ourselves like a nice little TP camp. Although, to be honest, I think it would look a little bit nicer. Is it not going to let me like put that next to it? Ah, not there. I want to put it. No. There. And then we put just one of those there. And that just means we got to trim this off just a little bit more. Which is completely cool and fine by me. But yeah, I like that. And then, what are these? Totem torches. How do we make them? Okay, so they're cheap, so we can make some more of those. But I don't think I'm going to. Not just yet. Let's get rid of this tree. Because this tree... Just don't want it. Okay. We'll come back out and grab that wood in just a second. Wait, did I pick my bed up? I have this like really bad habit of not picking my bed up, and I got, I got, I got to stop doing it. Okay, yeah, uh, those, those, those could go in there. Blocks. There we go. I didn't get any of this, but we did get a bunch of this stuff. Look. So we'll pop those away. All of those away. Yep. Okay, now we can go out and pick all that stuff up. And thankfully our island's lit up so we shouldn't get any mobs, like, sort of spawning around here. But yeah. I think... I want this for the screech up. No. Oh, I'm losing my buttons. Step one. Ah, oh, tell you. I blame the cold. I blame the cold. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. And also click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.